we officially welcome Stanford head coach David Shaw to the program. And coach, thanks so much for being with us. I want to start with the quarterback spot. It seems natural at this point. Oregon quarterback Justin Herbert's getting a lot of national attention, but what should college football fans know about your quarterback, KJ Costello? Well, I think Justin has earned that, uh, that recognition. He's been an outstanding uh, quarterback the last year plus. Um, I think KJ, uh, people really look at KJ, you see a smart, tough, uh, just grizzled quarterback uh, that likes to fight and likes to lead his team. Um, had the second best passing yardage uh, total in school history, which you think about all the Stanford quarterbacks that have come through uh, this great place. Um, he had a great year last year, but with him also, there's a lot of room for improvement, and he's really pushed himself. He could have gone to the draft, decided to come back uh, and have one more great year, and I think he's poised to do just that. Yeah, I've seen KJ's leadership on the sidelines with my own eyes, and it's special to watch. Your team scheduled Northwestern and UCF this season. Why is Stanford so willing to schedule challenging opponents? you got to go on the road uh, in the non-conference, unlike some other places. Uh, you know, we have, uh, we have uh, a lot of mantras and sayings here, and um, we don't dodge competition. Uh, we we want to play a great schedule. We want to play good competition because um, it makes, makes us rise. And our guys have looked at our schedule. It's been a great thought process the entire offseason about playing 12 great games. We have no dips in our schedule. There's no one double A's. There's no, 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 no place to hide, no place to dodge. And our guys have accepted that. We've got a senior-led team uh, with a lot of great leadership. And our guys know that this is a chance for an outstanding season. So we're going to play some great, some great teams. Yeah, along those lines, strength of schedule is certainly a huge part of the college football playoff era, and the Pac-12, 1-2 and two all time in the playoff. What do you think of the national perception about your conference? Well, I think it needs some help, honestly. Um, and for us to, to, to change that, we got to win. Got to win games. Um, and you, got, you talk about scheduling. At some point, I've been saying this for years, at some point, I think all of the conferences need to get on the same page. We're either all going to play eight conference games or all play nine conference games. What are we going to do with our off-season schedule or our out-of-conference schedule? Um, at some point, we need to converge those and be on the same page. But uh, for right now, our conference, we've got some great coaches. We've got some great players, some, some nationally recognized players, some uh, highly thought-of players. Uh, but the bottom line is teams in our conference got to win, got to win non-conference games and find a way to get into that playoff. Yeah, great points, Coach. Uh, since Andrew Luck left your program, he's become one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. How have you enjoyed just following his career? Uh, you know, just all of us here feel like uh, we were so fortunate to have him come through here. Uh, we've enjoyed uh, his interviews. We've enjoyed his book club. Uh, we've enjoyed <laughs> his comebacks. Uh, the guy is one of the few quarterbacks in the NFL that can truly – uh, carry a franchise. Um, when he's been healthy, he's taken him to the playoffs. He's taken him to the AFC Championship game. The guy makes about four or five unbelievable plays per game, um, but for him, they're, they're commonplace. But to me, the best thing about Andrew is he's humble. Um, he's a great team leader, but he's also a great teammate. Um, he's just a, one, a wonderful person to be around. You feel that drive. You feel that spirit, um, but you also feel sincerity. Uh, and I couldn't be happier for him, and I'm excited for this year. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app and for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.